What's going on YouTube? It's Ben. If you guys don't know me, smash the subscribe button and you definitely will get to know me. So many of you guys are not doing cold email properly and so I figured I would show you what you're doing wrong and show you my cold email process. Let me hop into my computer and I will do that right now. All right guys, so so many of you come to me with cold email questions about who to email, what should I put in my email, how do I get better response rates, better open rates, all that stuff. And everything starts with cold email when that's your strategy. So you have to get that strategy down pat. You really need to be really good at your cold emails if that's what you're using to get clients. So I'm going to pop into my computer. I'm going to go over my process on cold emails and how I do it really fast, really efficiently and do it right. And I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things that you might be doing wrong and how to fix them. All right. All right. So we are inside my computer right now and we're looking at a cold email and a bunch of you have already seen this cold email. In fact, I've sent a ton of you guys this cold email in Six Figure Recruiters, the Facebook group, um, or you got it through me on my Facebook page. Uh, the Six Figure Recruiter. Either way, you can get it if you message me on there and like the page Six Figure Recruiter. Um, but nonetheless, this has all the information <clears throat> that I want to, you know, tell the person that I'm emailing. Has my logo, has everything. Um, for purposes of this, I have a preset signature, so I don't have to do this. So I'm actually just going to take the base email because my signature is going to show up no matter what, and I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to basically going to be going through Zoom Info. Um, and those of you that have not seen Zoom Info, this is what it looks like. It has a billion different filters. It's incredible. It's amazing. It lets you filter down to all sorts of things. And so a couple of the first things I wanted to talk about is understand who you're emailing, like company-wise, industry-wise. Okay, so look at these industries. Agricultural, business services, cities, towns, municipalities, education, right? Understand who you are actually emailing, okay? So when you pick a niche and you want to email that niche, like don't pick real estate, okay? Like, like don't, don't email real estate agents. That's not going to work. Don't email government. It, it's not going to work. You're not going to get a government contract like as a startup recruiting agency, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are, are just emailing the wrong industries, okay? So it starts there. It starts with not emailing your chamber of commerce, they're not going to help you, okay? Um, you need to go to general labor. What's general labor? Transportation. It's manufacturing. It's metals and mining. It's uh, things like business services, okay? Um, consumer services. Hospitality. All those things are general labor. So actually, I selected manufacturing, and I have all these fancy filters set up here um, for Zoom Info because I'm going to be emailing manufacturing. Now, let's go next to what you're doing wrong secondarily, which is the person you're emailing. So rule number one, if you don't know it already, we absolutely 100% never, ever, ever email HR recruiters, head of HR, director of HR, I don't care what their title is, head of people, those individuals will not help you. So we don't email them. We email VPs, directors, managers, and C-level people, okay? These are the guys that are going, guys or gals that are going to champion our cause, help us get into the door. These are the people that will actually feel the pain point and they know they need staff. So they're gonna be the ones that get us through the door. So what I have selected is basically VPs and directors of companies from zero to 500 employees that are in the manufacturing sector that are in Seattle within a 50 mile radius. And this is all stuff you can do in Zoom Info. And I know that I'm at a huge advantage by using Zoom Info, but this is what my cold email process looks like. So I showed you the cold email that I have set up and the one that I'm gonna use. And so basically I wanna go in here and this is a little trick. I don't know if you know this, but if you go into your actual email and you go to your outbox, and you select specifically the, <clears throat> the outbox that you want, it will be defaulted to send from that outbox every time you click someone. So CGE Energy. At this point, I don't really care. I already know. Okay, he doesn't have an email. At this point, I don't really care because I already know that these people are all in the manufacturing industry. Um, so I was just looking at these. Let me close some of these up, but let me show you how quick and easy I work. I literally just grab, grab this right here. 
throw my cold email in, bada bing, bada boom, and I'm gonna put in a subject line. Subject lines are where you can get really tricky and play a ton of magic. And this one goes out to Tim in Six Figure Recruiters. He gave me this little nugget earlier, but basically he said, pose a question. Pose a question, use their first name, and it gets him 50% response open rates, or I'm sorry, not response rates, but open open rates. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with, are you hiring Fred? So personalization, using first name, and a question. He said 50% open rates, so I'm going with it. Boom, done. So I'm gonna go on the next page. This this has 100,000 results literally in this area. So I can literally click on anybody. Adam, executive VP, takes me straight in. I don't know why it's not taking me to the box I need to be in, but are you hiring Adam? I'm gonna put my stuff in here. Um, why is it not? There we go. Boom, done, moving on. Uh, let's just, anybody, James. Like at this point, it's on autopilot. I literally don't care. Are you hiring James? And I put in my email, it's all copy paste from here. Simple as that, boom, send them out. So I could do this for literally hours and send out hundreds of emails and this is how I do it. This is how I actually send out like hundreds of emails, like literally no issue, no questions asked, like a hundred emails is, is nothing. So this is how fast you can do it um, with Zoom Info. But you can still do it using other tools. Um, just gonna leave it at that and not even personalize that one. But whatever, long story short, a lot of you guys are doing things wrong when you cold email, okay? So number one, know what industry, where you're actually targeting, right? I'm targeting manufacturing. A lot of these companies will totally use me and totally respond to my email. For Christ's sake, my email literally says 10% direct hire fee in it. So I'm looking to get like, three, four orders from Allied Body Company, right? Right then and there, that's like gonna be like $13,000 or something, right? If I get that from them. Um, and I'm emailing the directors and the VPs. I'm not emailing the HR people. I'm not emailing, you know, like, right? You can look at all the job functions here. I'm not gonna email finance, I'm not gonna email like IT, definitely not gonna email HR, right? Or legal or marketing. Understand that when you find an email, you've got to know who, what that person does. And if you don't know what they do, pop open LinkedIn and just take a quick look and go search someone up and figure out what they do at the company, right? Like just literally search someone up and be like, okay, what do they do at their respective company? And then you'll know. So those of you that don't have LinkedIn Sales Navigator, definitely get Sales Navigator. If you don't have that, you should have that. Uh, I'm gonna email this guy. This is how easy Zoom Info is. I would. This is like a commercial for Zoom Info, but I wish they paid me for that, but they're not. Um, you hiring Jared? Boom. Copy paste. Copy paste. So here's the deal, guys. Number one, know what industry you're emailing into when you're doing cold email, because. What it really should be is quick, easy, fast email blasts. So you should basically figure out an industry like manufacturing or hospitality, or like I said, um, consumer services, business services. Those are all gonna be generic, general labor jobs, especially things like transportation, stuff like that. Secondly, know who exactly at the company you're emailing, whether it's a manager or a VP or someone that can actually move the needle. Um, if, if you're really diving deep and looking at the company and it's a really, really small company, like this company is 196 employees. 
I would definitely email the CEO of that company. Like I would still email the VP, but I could email the CEO for sure at a company that small. Then definitely know exactly like, you know, what you want to say in your email. If you're emailing these general labor companies, um, this email template that I have set up for this 10% fee, this is totally reasonable and it just works perfect. But if you're emailing a company that's like Fortune 100, and you're looking for software developers, your email, your cold email has to be totally different, okay? So anyways, guys, this is Zoom Info. This is a little bit of my cold email strategy. This is how I bust out a billion emails in like an hour. Um, and honestly, I just wanna make sure you guys are doing things better and you're not wasting your time. All right, guys, I hope that was super helpful for you. If it was, definitely smash that like button. If you're not a subscriber yet, definitely become a subscriber and hit the alert button so you know every single time I come out with a video, which is pretty much every single day. So I will definitely be catching you tomorrow. Until then.